Nilafar, for instance, is one of the is one of the projects. Um, she was going to share a little bit about what she's doing. Right Do now. you want to say something really quick? Right now, just or do you want to finish? Yeah. Well, why don't you, you just, <laughs> without getting too much in it, why don't you just say um, what your project is about? Just in a, in a, in a nutshell, and what you're kind of hoping maybe to get out of using this. Would that be helpful? Well, before I start talking about myself, I want to just say something about Todd. Um, I, I'm sure all of you know Todd, right? You're here because you know Todd and you know his work and you've been connected to him or either via his artwork or through the Red Poppy. But I met Todd about 13 years ago, randomly in San Francisco, when he was new in San Francisco. And um, to just briefly um, list the, the, the positives that have come from him starting the Red Poppy Art House is that he and I have stayed connected. If we had just met randomly, we probably wouldn't have, we had, if we had just met randomly and the Red Poppy Art House hadn't been instituted and we didn't have a place to go to and to connect with other people and, and admire each other's work and, and watch each other's work grow over the years, over the decade and a half basically, we, we might have been those two people that have lost track of each other. But this, this sense of community building is really incredibly important in, in his work. And he's, he's, a, he's our local guy, but really we should be looking at him as, as a visionary of, of a global scale because what he's accomplished is just mind-boggling to me and what he continues to accomplish. So now, uh, now he's, uh, he's uh, launching what's called the Itch, which um, I'm, I'm happily um, involved in. <laughs> I'm happily involved in this because as an artist, um, well, maybe I should say something about, you want to introduce me or should I say something about myself? I hate talking about who I am, but um, I'm a literary and theater artist, and uh, I, I'm an author, and I create multimedia projects. Um, I'm a librettist. I write libretti for operas and um, multimedia projects with video and chorus and orchestra. And right now I'm writing a requiem, which will be accompanied to a four wall video installation, a four channel video installation in Poland. And uh, American uh, uh, presenters TBA, but mostly it's going to be at the Polish Biennial and it'll be at um, different art venues, but as well as uh, with orchestras. And last year, uh, well, this year actually, this is the 10th anniversary of 9 11, um, I was uh, commissioned in 2007 to write a libretto for the 10th anniversary of 9 11. And that libretto was presented at Carnegie Hall and then here at Cal Performances. And now that's going on to be staged and, and expanded, et cetera. Um, I've also worked with the other um, spectrum of art organizations. I've worked with Intersection for the Arts, uh, more community and grassroots um, oriented organizations, so just the whole gamut, and yours. So the project that I thought I would um, uh, start with on the itch is a project that I was commissioned to do by the LA County Museum of Art um, on the uh, subject of spring equinox. Now I'm from Iranian descent, my parents are Iranian, I was born in the West but my parents are Iranian and I went to school in Iran as a child. So I speak, read and write Persian. Um, the spring equinox for Iranians and for many, many millions of other people in the world is a new year like January 1st, which is our new year here. Um, spring equinox is a new year for millions of people in the Balkans, you know, anywhere from China to the Balkans. And so to tell the story of the spring equinox took about a year of research for me. And you, know, you can imagine all these cultures go back thousands of years, five thousands of years, you know, thousands for each one of them. And what was so amazing is to learn about the poetry and the mythology and the rituals and the progression through these thousands of years. So what I ended up writing is a 35 minute performance piece, which I myself performed slash narrated. Um, and then I also have original music composed for all the pieces with live music and video composed for, for the show. So that was a multimedia storytelling show called The Persian Bride of Spring. And you can see pictures, if you want to pass it around, you can see pictures of it. I originally wanted to show you about 30 second clip here of the, of the performance, but there's no Wi-Fi here, so I can't show it to you. But it is on, a, on my website and it is on YouTube. Can, so, can, can I interrupt? Yeah. Um, just because I don't have so much time, but what I want to know maybe that would be helpful is how, you know, why would you get drawn, be interested in participating in this thing? How is it that it would help? <coughs> Well, I feel like each one of us has a currency. My strength is to create the work, 
And as Todd mentioned, we don't have, it's only 24 hours a day and we don't really have the, the, the strength, the knowledge, the skill or the time or the money to pay to get all the other things that actually all work together to create what is the life of an artist, the work of an artist and its impact on the audience. So my uh, interest in the itch is to be able to have an organized experience here. Um, many, many people uh, after all my events come to me or I still get emails on a weekly or monthly basis for people saying, I love what you're doing, can I volunteer for you? And I have almost never been able to really, in an organized fashion, bring these people together and get them to be involved and, and get what they need from, from my work and from the association with the process and, and all that. So I think for me the itch would be a place where it's, it's organized, it's streamlined, what will happen, um, there's a website for it and that there's a place that people come to, there's dinners and we can meet each other and find out about you know, people's inspiration and what they want to be involved in. Not just my project but all the projects that are involved in the itch. So I think that, that to me is what attracted me to the itch.